We should try some wigs on. Which ones are you going to try on? The brightest, most colorful one. <laughs> Hi, how are you? My name is Sandra Hinojosa and I am from Detroit, Michigan, born and raised. My native name in our language, Ojibwe language, is Wabi Kanis, which means flower of the forest. I was named by an elder um, from our reservation and she gave me that name because um, when I was younger I was just very free-spirited. Um, basically like a flower in the forest, just growing and blossoming. And so after she spent some time with me, she gave me that name. When I think about where I'm from, I grew up middle class. You know, both of my parents were very hard workers. They worked full time. My father was a still welder and my mother was a nurse. Um, we, I grew up in a really bad neighborhood, so a way to stay out of trouble and to just you know, stay focused. My parents put me in dance classes since I was walking like three, four years old. Tap, jazz, hip hop, ballet. I loved ballet. And I just really took to jingle dress dancing. Um, I just told my mom when I first saw it, like I loved how the women looked. They looked really confident. You know, they were very strong and very poised. And I just loved how the jingles swayed. and the sound that they made. I loved the two-step. It was just really captivating. So dance and theater has always been a really big part of my life growing up. I was always involved in community theater, school theater, dramas, but I tried to do the norm. I tried to go to college and to get my, I, I did graduate, I did get a degree in biology, minor in chemistry. And my parents really, you know, emphasized and wanted me to focus on following that because it was stable, but I always kind of missed theater, I always missed dancing, ballet, and I think once I was starting to finish college, that's when I realized that this wasn't making me happy and I really needed to fulfill something that was missing, like I just had this yearning desire that I wanted to be on stage and it was either apply to jobs and stay home in Michigan um, and be around you know, my fa friends, family, my whole life, I oh, the only thing that I have known. Um, or pursue acting professionally. And it was a really, really tough decision. Um, I'm very close to my family. I'm a total Midwest girl at heart. So I had to just really sit down and, you know, figure out if this is what I wanted to do and how I was go going to do it. Um, when I made the decision and I told my family, they weren't too happy about it. Um, you know, my mother knew that I always wanted to be a performer, but I think my father, he found it difficult. You know, he didn't want his little girl to come out to the city where I didn't really know a lot of people. I didn't have any family. So he had a different idea and a different plan of what he wanted from me and different expectations. And I don't think that he really thought that I could do this professionally and, and make a career out of it and financially take care of myself. Um, it was really difficult, it was really challenging. It put a, definitely put a strain on our relationship. The father-daughter dynamics, it completely changed. And I struggled for a long time. Um, when I came, first came out to Los Angeles, I probably didn't speak with him for around six months. Uh, it was really disheartening to coming out to Los Angeles, especially not having, you know, a solid foundation and a solid circle of friends and family. Obviously, in our native culture, family is so important. So, especially not being able to pick up the phone and call my father when things were hard. That was probably the most challenging thing. But when I started working harder and when I started to see success, that's when, you know, I really gained his respect, most importantly. And that's when he started to come around, when he saw how happy it made me. And he saw how hard I worked. And from there, our relationship has grown so much more stronger. And I can now say, like, I really do believe that he believes in me. Marlon, it's been a very long walk, but we found you. 
Rocky Fountain people. It was a long walk. I'm gonna take Hollywood, Mile, and then up Vine. We just went through a windstorm, got sand and dust in our eyes, but we found you. One of the greats. Acting to me is just living, just a, being a human being. It's emotions, it's love, it's hate, it's sadness, it's happiness, it's, you know, animosity, it, it's all of that. And to me, it's being able to portray those emotions honestly and truly, and to be able to represent that character. Like, it really is an honor, and that's what acting is to me. And I think it really hit me that, wow, you can actually do this professionally and make a, a great living at it, is when I booked my first feature film last year. Just the experience on set, I had, I had my first trailer. It was a little trailer, but <laughs> it still was a trailer. And, you know, I had craft services. I had a driver that picked me up to and from the set. And um, the feature film was real evil. It was, a, it's a horror film. And it was just a great learning experience. I learned so much on set. And the pe like everybody that I worked with, we were all just so excited and happy to be working together. And I still keep in touch with, you know, my fellow actors. But I would definitely say that every day I get excited. And, it, when, and I think really when it hits me is when my agent or my manager is excited and, oh, you've been pinned for a project or, you know, they really like you, they want to bring you in again. And, you know, when I'm starting to get callbacks and when, I'm, when I book jobs, that's, that's when it really sits in and hits me. And that's when I truly feel like the most rewarded. Like, wow, wow. <laughs>